Hey, Marissa, Meredith, and Megan. Yes, Mom and Dad? Next week, your father's cousins, or should we say, your first cousins once removed, is inviting us to meet their maternal cousins. We will all be fitting in my car and drive all the way to Rochester. I will fill up my car with gas before we go, and we will probably take turns driving, since I can't be the only one driving us to Rochester, even if I am the occupant. Oh boy, another road trip. Who, sounds exciting. Plus I never got to meet first cousins Manuel and Matthew's maternal cousins before. Me too. We all cannot wait to meet them. So because we're going to be leaving next week, I suggest you all start packing now. And because this is going to be a long ride to Rochester, I will not be bringing my firearm with me, since we fear we will get pulled over and the police might pull us over for a traffic violation or whatever, and probably search the car even though we do not have any warrants. So, let's just hope no individual can interfere with our trip and especially pull any weapons on us, especially because Manuel and Matthew do not own any firearms, unlike me. And we might fill the car with gas multiple times along the way, but let's hope this trip does not run us into the ground. Well nonetheless, I'm already thrilled. Same. Anyway, I think you three should start packing now. I really should call Ashlyn, since we are not going to see each other next week. Hello bestie. Hi Ashlyn. One just want to let you know that I will not see you anytime or anyone else next week, because I will be going to Rochester to meet my first cousins once removed cousins for the first time, oh, that's perspicuous and sounds fun for you. Well, I hope you have fun. Alright, I see everyone is ready. I filled up my car with gas this morning. First, I will drive to Manuel and Matthew's house. All right, we are here at Manuel and Matthew's house. What up, cousins? Hey, cuz. Looks like your wife is ready to drive us to our cousin's house. Yes, cuz. She filled her vehicle with gas and said we will take turns driving. It's a good thing that I renewed my driver's license last month. Anyway, let's not stall and move. My god Martha, me and my brother have not been in your minivan before, but the air in your minivan is so fresh. Well, I like to keep my car fresh at all times. And I've had this car ever since I sold my sedan. My friend, Andrea, and her friend, Haley, have fresh air in their SUVs. You know, it's really sunny out, and we have some fresh air. Why do I even bother wearing my blazer right now? Then just take it off cuz. Fine cuz, I'll take it off. Ah, this is more like it. You girls back there, how is it going? It's going good Manuel and Matthew. Doing good as well. Same here. Glad to hear. Matthew and I are pleased to have you three meet our cousins in Rochester for the first time. You three probably never met them before, but they are our maternal cousins, not really related to your dad. Right now, it is 10.35, so in like two hours, we will stop somewhere and have lunch. Well, actually, my brother and I brought a lot of cash in case we want to buy something. Oh, that's generous of you, Matthew and Manuel. But I just want to let you know, Megan likes soft foods, Meredith is allergic to fish, and Marissa can take anything, meaning she is not picky, but we do not eat canned foods. Alright, thanks for letting us know Martha. I don't know about you all, but Casey has been out all week. This is probably the first time in the club one of our members has been out all week. In this case, it's the chief. Estaba pensando si podríamos haber tenido un sustituto para hacerse cargo mientras Caseta no estaba. La misma sierra. Pero no estoy seguro de quién. Well, actually, some girl transferred here to this school this week. I met her in my PE class. She would be delighted to take over whenever Casey or any of us are out, or guard us, or whatever. Wait, really Suzanne? Yes, I met her earlier this week. Wait, are you talking about Hallie Kaiser? I met her in my art class this week. Yes, that's Halle Kaiser. She was shy, but I showed her respect. Well, at least bring her to us. I'll try to find her. I'm coming with you, Suzanne. There she is, Melanie. It looks like we were the only two who met her so far. Hello, Halle. Oh, hello, Melanie. Hello, Suzanne. So, how was your first week here at Merlin's Key Beach Middle School? You know, I was really shy when I first came here. 
But then I got used to it when I met the two of you. How do you like your classes so far? I kinda like it, I guess. No bullies or anything absurd happening on my first week, except when I was late to school Wednesday, but was excused, because it's only my first week here. Yeah, because usually here and all schools around Palmer County, all tardies and absences are excused on the first and last week of every school year. Oh, well that's a relief, because at my old school in Branson, Missouri, students would automatically get one hour of detention whenever they're late or absent without any excuse. Ugh. That is exactly like Babel Island. Their schools are actually shit in Palmer County. You're lucky not to go there, otherwise, you will get automatic discipline, but the city is also really strict with laws, especially jaywalking, littering, disorderly conduct, and driving while intoxicated. Oh, well then I am so lucky. But anyway, what did you two want to tell me? We wanted to ask you if you would like to join our club. Well, actually. We are supposed to have exactly seven members, but our leader, Casey, has been out all week due to a cold. So, if you would like, you can take over, and hopefully Casey does not even mind. Oh, that sounds glamorous. What do you all do exactly? Well, we entertain people with music, performances, jokes, illusions, etc. However, we do have a set of guidelines. This club is a noteworking zone, no fighting zone, no judgment zone, and no racism zone. One rule broken and the member is sacked for the rest of the day. Now listen here Delilah, you may be strong, but you are not through with me. I want Marissa, Caden, KZ, and their so-called white knights to be gone. What I mean is, you already know. I can't stand Marissa and her cheerful personality anymore, I want Caden to lose his fighting skills, and I want Casey and her stupid starlights to disband and stop entertaining everyone, because they are just retarded assholes who don't ever quit grinding my goddamn gears. And what do you exactly want me to do about it? Kill them? That's exactly right. I want you to kill every single one of them. And I especially want you to get rid of Marissa's smile and her clean teeth. Break every one of Caden's bones before he's dead, and I expect you to find some other ways to kill everyone else. Because we failed multiple times, and if you fail me, I am going to stab you to death. Yeah, whatever, you threatened to kill me multiple times, but you always failed, because we both end up getting punished by our parents. Well, this time it's going to work. You will not fail me. You are going to work with Gillian, because if she fails, she's dead too. Alright, listen to me Lilith Josie Dorsey, you always threaten to kill me multiple times. I have threatened to kill everyone in the past, but this time, you better find someone to kill, other than anyone here, or else I will kill you. And who is it you want me to kill? I expect you to figure it out. Well, alright, we threatened to kill each other too much. How about we just have a little fight if one of us fails, or the both of us? All right, you're on. Now do yourself a favor and stay away from me and my men, and the rest of our comrades. My god, another vigorous physical fight with the two pertinacious gangsters. Ah, yes my usual routine begins. Waking up at 6 in the morning. Uh-oh. It sounded like my dad screaming. Dad, what's the matter? Mitchell, what happened? Whoa. Oh my god, who put that banana peel here? Oh my goodness. What the heck happened here? Well girls, when your father woke up, he started to scream, and when I went downstairs, I slipped on a banana peel. Do you three have any idea who created this mess? Um, it wasn't me who created this mess. I was in my room sleeping the whole time. Don't look at me either. I was sleeping in my room as well. I'm not the one to blame. It looks like someone was trespassing. Um, Martha? Yes, honey. Your car is missing. What?
My God, Marissa's parents' car feels so great to speed. Let's contravene the rules of the road and let's try to run some people over and dilapidate some other people's cars. What the, did you girls see that? Who in their right mind would ever go above the speed limit? Wait a minute, isn't that Marissa's mom's car? Apparently, it is. Same vehicle, same license plate, windows are 50% tinted, it is that occupied car. I better call Marissa like right now. I don't think she is going to like this. Hi KZ. Hi Marissa, I just spotted your mother's car. It was speeding really fast on Merlinski Boulevard. What? Seriously KZ? Yes, I am serious. I am so sorry, I had to call you this early, as I'm aware you were probably sleeping. KZ, it's not any big deal. I will let my parents know. Wait a second Marissa, what happened? Um, mom, my friend KZ just called, and she told me someone stole your car and is speeding in Merlinski Boulevard. What? Seriously? Yes mom, I'm serious, and KZ was being serious. Okay, nobody panic, I'm going to contact the police department right now. And so, Marissa received a call from KZ about my wife's minivan stolen. She did not press charges for stealing her occupied vehicle, but the culprits were still charged with reckless driving, speeding, driving underage, and driving without a license. Has someone been playing Grand Theft Auto? I could be wrong you know. Who in their right mind would play Grand Theft Auto underage, and who would actually perform the stunts from Grand Theft Auto? Not our children of course. They know they should never drive underage and without a license. My cousin Matthew drove underage before, and he was given a fine of $200, instead of up to 15 days in jail. And at least my vehicle is safe now. I don't want to occupy a sedan again. Casey. I want to give you my thanks for reporting my mom's car is stolen. It's no problem at all. I never seen some action intense like that ever since my dad was killed. Wait, your dad was killed? Yeah, he was shot by a robbery suspect. Plus the suspect also shot 10 police officers, and 7 of them were also killed, until another officer fatally shot him. Well, sorry to hear that. At least you still have your mom and your sister. Well, at least I still remember him from the bottom of my heart, so I don't have to cry every time whenever I think of him and the times we had together before he died. At least you're still optimistic like me.